I would like to invite the keynote speaker, Professor Dr. Talat Halman, and the chairperson, Professor Dr. Emel Doramaji. Professor Ali Çağlar, the Vice President of Hacettepe University, Professor Mehmet Öz, Dean of the Faculty of Letters, Professor Burçin Erol. I don't know which adjectives I should use next to her name. Dynamic, always and full of energy, and constructive, all the Con uh, conferences that have been organized by her or by, uh, I think the last one was by Denis, she chaired the conference, and all the others. They have such a stimulating energy that you cannot look at other things. They shine like the sun. And today, dear students, colleagues, deans, it said, wh whoever is here, I haven't mentioned yet. Today, I am very much privileged to chair a, uh, a session where such a very important person, distinguished personality, is going to tell us something about Shakespeare. His CV is with me. And I have just been telling him that this v CV, it doesn't come out. It's it doesn't yeah. exist. <laughs> it exists, but uh, I know it's in my mind, <laughs> but never mind. Actually, we share so many things with <laughs> Professor Halman, <laughs> and not only in Turkey, but abroad also. And the first time, actually, I was very fond of his articles, uh, or. Uh, column when he was writing in Milliet. But the first time I met him in per person, do you remember, it was in, uh, New, no, in Pennsylvania, at the Pennsylvania University. I think uh, Ahmed Evin and the others were there also. And I had such excitement. I am meeting such a scholar. And then we met at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. And ever since, I think you were one of the faculty members there. It wasn't today's Pennsylvania. <laughs> Actually, I was going to make that joke, but never mind. No, no. <laughs> but never mind, you preceded me. However, let me come to his CV. And when I was given the CV, I said, but it is so short. Because uh, people, when uh, I'm going to read it, and people, when they have their CVs, even one event is uh, reflected in so many pages. This way, that way, that way. But now you will listen, those who don't know the details, these are the milestones of Professor Halman. All right. Shall I call you sir? No, don't. <laughs> I, I will let you know why. Um, Professor Talat Halman served as the first minister of culture of the Turkish Republic uh, here. Currently, he is acting chairman, Department of English Literature, and dean of humanities and letters at Bilkent University. Formerly, he was on the faculties of Columbia, Pennsylvania, and Princeton universities for many years, and from 1986 to 1996, professor and chairman of the Department of Near Eastern Languages and Literatures at New York University. 
He served as ambassador for cultural affairs and Turkey's deputy permanent representative at the United Nations. He has published 3,000 articles and more than 70 books, 70, not 17, including 12 collections of his own poetry in Turkish and English. From 1991 to 1995, he served as an elected member of the UNESCO Executive Board. Actually, we met several times. I was here also working, uh, I was, I think, I don't know what, with the National Commission of UNESCO in Turkey. Wherever I went, he was there. I said, oh, and making speech, representing not only the- i been here for a whole lifetime. <laughs> Well, that was a secret, but never mind. <laughs> Currently, he is president of the UNICEF Turkish National Committee. He holds honorary doctorates from Boğaziçi and Ankara universities. Honors and awards include Distinguished Service Award of the Turkish Academy of Sciences and the Turkish Foreign Ministry and Knight Ground Cross GBE, the most excellent order of the British Empire, counterpart of Sir, this is why I said, shall I call you Sir, and conferred on him by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In the 1950s, Talat Halman translated Macbeth and later the complete sonnets in meter and rhyme. In the 1986-87 season, the prominent actor, Mushvik Kenter, presented Halman's one-man Shakespeare play 75 times at Istanbul's Kenter Theater. The full text was published twice, once in 1991 and again in 2003. In recent years, Halman presented his Shakespeare program as a solo per performance and numerous times together with Yildiz Kenter or Defne Hal Halman in Turkish or in English. Hal Defne, you know, is his daughter. Uh, he spent the 2012-2013 academic year at City University of New York as visiting research scholar to do the first ever Turkish translations of Shakespeare's long narrative poems. When his book is published, I think he has just told me maybe in two weeks' time by Ishban Kase, right? Uh, Turkish will be one of the few languages in which all of Shakespeare's plays and poems are available in translation. Now, may I introduce again this distinguished personality and ask him to, I think you are going to speak on Shakespearean art in the Turkish art, right? Heart. <laughs> Our heart, yes. maybe. It's art. You inspire me. Okay. <laughs> Please, the floor is yours. Yeah, it's, it's up to you. Thank yes, you. sure. Distinguished Dean, Madam Chairman, uh, and uh, you're of course very distinguished as the founding chairperson of the Department of English Language and Literature at this marvelous university, and you've become a living legend here. We all respect you, admire you, adore you, and thank you for that introduction. I've memorized it, thank you. Uh, this happens to be, as Shakespeareans happily call it, Shakespeare. 
It was 450 years ago, in 1564, that the Bard was born. How inspired that the, this great university, Hacettepe, with uh, one of Turkey's most distinguished departments of English literature, has uh, organized uh, Shakespeare 450 conference. What an inspiring name that is, Shakespeare 450. Uh, this Shakespeare year is a year of glee in Turkey. In a nationwide celebration, we shall be doing scores of productions of Shakespeare's tragedies and comedies. Uh, already in January, Hamlet, Macbeth, Othello, uh, Twelfth Night, uh, the Sonnets, uh, The Merchant of Venice, The Tempest, uh, and other plays were presented here in Ankara in a special uh, one-week celebration with 16,000 spectators who actually purchased tickets for a small country which is not a native speaker of the English language. That is a great accomplishment, really. 16,000 tickets sold for Shakespeare plays within one week in January. What a great love affair this is. We really love Shakespeare. He is a British-Turkish playwright and poet. Turkish theater goers, young and old, will pay tribute to their beloved Shakespeare this year, but that's not a new affair. That's been a lifelong affair, uh, actually more, more than a lifetime, 140 years at least of Shakespeare productions in Istanbul mainly, and in other parts of Turkey as well. We Turks adore Shakespeare. We have translated them over and over again since the second half of the 19th century. By January 2003, the complete tragedies, comedies, histories, and sonnets had been translated into Turkish. Some of the major plays nine times, 10 or 11 times even. That's no mean achievement. Not all languages are that fortunate. I'm hoping that on the event of this 450th anniversary, which will be followed by the 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death in uh, the year 2016, uh, th 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 that period is a golden, magic period where we might have a tremendous new efflorescence of sh Shakespeare events in Turkey. And uh, th this time, not only in the major cities, but all over the country. That is assuming that TUSAC does not put an end to uh, the state theater and uh, the state opera and ballet. There's a danger in that. I'm hoping that somehow Turkey will overcome that terrible problem of losing the state theaters. There are as many as 60 stages of state theaters uh, uh, under the directorship in, uh, in Ankara. And we have a tremendous operatic organization in, in Turkey. How many countries are there that you can think of, even in some advanced European countries, which have as many as six opera theaters, six opera theaters in Turkey, imagine that. And we're now faced with the possibility of losing some or all of them, and possibly losing the art of opera forever. But I'm hoping that there might be an Ankara Shakespeare uh, consortium composed of the major universities which have departments of English there are at least 10 departments in this city alone where English literature is taught very effectively. And this, of course, is one of the most important ones, the second major department to have been established in Ankara. And, uh, and, and now I think it is the best in the entire country. Uh, our theaters have presented countless productions in the past 140 years. Shakespeare is Turkey's most beloved playwright. Courses in Shakespeare are staples in the curricula of most of our major universities. More Shakespeare productions 
have graced the Turkish stages than all of the Muslim nations combined, more in Turkey than in most European countries ever or today, except for French, German, Italian, Spanish, Scandinavian languages, Russian, and Japanese, there are few, if any, languages into which all of Shakespeare's plays have been translated and published. Turkish is proud of having achieved this, of the sonnets and some of the bar's shorter narrative poems, too. The only gap we have consists of such long Shakespeare poems as Venus and Adonis, The Rape of Lucrece, and A Lover's Complaint. Translating these heavily rhymed, difficult poems, Venus and Adonis, 1,194 lines, Lucrece, 1,855 lines, A Lover's Complaint, complaint 329 lines, plus poems of more dubious authorship like The Passionate Pilgrim, 338 lines, and several others like The Phoenix and the Turtle, Shall I Die, etc., add up to a total of 3,947 lines, most of which had been untranslated until now. And I'm very happy to say that I had the temerity, the gumption of trying to close that huge last gap, because no one else had the intention of doing it. And I sat down and groped for rhymes, as many as 4,000 lines, lines, all rhymed, all in verse. And I did that for my sabbatical in the past academic year. I chose it as my project. From September 2012 to September 2013, I was busy in New York City, affiliated